the name of Allah, the most merciful, the especially merciful. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah wa ba'd. All praise is due to Allah, God Almighty, the most high, the nourisher and the sustainer of the world. And may the blessings and peace be upon the final messenger and prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To proceed, we left off in a series of lectures from the book Al-Aqidatul Sahiha Wa Ma Yudadduha The Correct Belief and What Opposes It by Al-Imam Al-Aziz Ibn Baz Rahimahullah May Allah have mercy on him We mentioned the, the, the pillars of Iman which is faith the six pillars of Iman which are belief in Allah, His angels, His books his messengers, the last day, and the, and the divine decree. We left off uh, in the second pillar, which is the faith in the angels. Oh, we covered the first pillar, which is the faith in Allah. And today, we are going to mention some points regarding the second pillar, which is the faith in the angels. The author said in the book, this entails believing in them generally and specifically. Therefore, the Muslim must believe that Allah has angels which he created to obey him. And he, meaning Allah, God Almighty, the Most High, described them as being honorable servants who do not precede him in speech and act on his command. He said, يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَلَا يَشْفَعُونَ إِلَّا لِمَنْ ارْتَضَى إِلَّا لِمَنْ ارْتَضَى وَهُمْ مِنْ خَشْيَتِهِ مُشْفِقُونَ Allah the Most High, He said, He knows what is before them and what is after them and they cannot intercede except for Him with whom He is pleased. And they stand in awe for fear of Him, for fear of, for fear of Allah the Most High. Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter by the name Al-Anbiya in the Noble Quran, verse number 28. All praise be to Allah, the nourish and the sustainer of the whole worlds, and the peace and blessings be upon his fine prophet and messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Continuing from what we have left off last time, in our explanation to the book, which is dictated by Imam Ibn Baz, may Allah shower his blessing and mercy on him. In the beginning of the book, we have started with the explaining the faith in Allah or belief in Allah, which entails several things that we have mentioned in the previous lessons, uh, including believe in Allah's Lordship and Allah's worship and Allah's beautiful names and attributes that we have explained and talked a lot about them last time. Uh, today inshallah we start talking about the, the faith in angels and as the writer said here in the book that uh, this entails believing in the angels generally and specifically and by the word generally means that too we have to believe that Allah has created angels who obey him and never disobey him and these angels were created from a light and beside his creation of uh, the two species jinn and ins Allah has created angels and our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in the, in the saying that which is narrated by Umm al mumin Aisha, may Allah have, has pleased her, uh, that Allah Almighty and Majesty has created jinn from a flame, a smokeless flame of fire, and has created also ins from, or the mankind has created them from a clay, and has created angels, al-malaika, from a light. 
these three creations some of them all of the angels worship Allah but some of the jinn and ins these two species some of them uh, worship Allah so the in believing in the angels generally that we mean we believe that Allah has created them they worship Allah they don't disobey him in anything uh, and especially or specifically we believe that Allah has created some of uh, created all of them and we believe in the names or those uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala almighty and majesty has uh, named them in the Holy Quran and also in the authentic Sunnah our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu has mentioned the name of some of them like Gabriel Gabriel or Jibril who uh, is in charge in uh, sending the revelations to the prophets of Allah and uh, Israfil and some others so uh, here I think the writer also talked about uh, believing in them specifically he said we must believe in those angels Allah and his messenger have mentioned by names such as Jibril, Mikael, the gatekeeper of the hell, Mikael. Mikael, the, who is the angel in charge of uh, sending down rains, the falls. Okay? And uh, the gatekeeper of the hell, whose name is Malik. And you can find him mentioned in the, on the verse in chapter number 43 verse number 77 Allah says Almighty and Majesty said that and they will cry mm, yani, meaning that some of the disbelievers when they put in hell in the life hereafter they start crying and talking to Malik this um, angel who is in charge of the keeper as the keeper of the hell they start crying. They will cry, O oh Malik, keep of the hell. Let your Lord make an end of us. This means that they wanted to be dead at that time because of the severe punishment in the hellfire. Anyway, um, we mean here the one who is in charge of the gate as a gatekeeper is uh, called Malik and with one who is uh, in charge of the paradise and so on um, and Israfil the angel in charge of blowing the trumpet he blew this trumpet for all of the creations to be dead and then for all of the creations creations to be risen on for uh, the, the, in the day of resurrection the day of, the, of judgment uh, also has been mentioned in the authentic sunnah in several hadiths uh, authentically reported in the sunnah that Aisha radiallahu anha and here the writer mentioned the hadith or the narration that we talked about uh, last time so Muslim has to believe that these angels has been given some task to do some of them are in guard of uh, human actions some elders write the good deeds and the bad deeds of every human being some of them some of them sit on the right shoulder and the other sits on the left shoulder of every human being one of them write the good deeds and the other writes the bad deeds so these are uh, angels worship Allah alone and never disobey Allah in any Thing that they are commanded to do. So the author, the author continued to to mention. He said, "There are, they are, meaning the angels. They are of many types. Amongst them are those who are entrusted to hold the throne, and amongst them are those who guard paradise and hell, like we have." like you have mentioned Shaykh Abu Bakr and amongst them are those who are entrusted to record the deeds of people those uh, the, the two angels who sit 
One of them sits on the right shoulder the and right the other left. sits on the uh, left shoulder. Left shoulder. And the one who is in the, on the right shoulder writes everything of the good deeds that uh, uh, a man does. And the one who is on the left shoulder writes every bad deed that a man does. And uh, the one who is on the, on the right shoulder is something is like uh, um, a governor or a ruler of the other one. If you, uh, if any human being does something wrong, he tells the other to to wait. If uh, this man repents from his bad deed, then will never be returned. And if uh, he doesn't repent, then it will be returned. So he said, the author, and amongst them are those who are entrusted to record the deeds of people, like you have mentioned. <coughs> then the author continued to mention, he said, specifically, we must believe in those angels that Allah and his messenger have mentioned by name, such as Jibril, or known as Gabriel, Mikael, or known as Michael, and Malik, the gatekeeper of hell, and Israfil, the angel in charge of blowing the trumpet, he, Israfil, has been mentioned in several authentic ahadith, which are the narrations reported, uh, reported about the Prophet, وسلم, peace be upon him. It is authentically reported in the Sahih that Aisha, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her. Reading the, the hadith which is narrated by Umm al muminin Aisha, Anha, I want to draw the attention to something very important, which is uh, some people of the common folk think that there is uh, an angel whose name is uh, Israel. Some people think that there is a name Israel. But this name Israel is not found in the authentic Sunnah. And even in the Holy Quran, in the Noble Quran, it's not mentioned the name Israel and even in the Sunnah. And they think that this is a angel who is insured in uh, checking souls of human beings in death. But uh, the one, the angel who is mentioned in the Holy Quran, whose name is Malak al Mut, the angel of the death. This is the name of the Malak or the angel who is insured in taking the souls. And verse uh, chapter number 32. Verse number 11, Allah Almighty and Majesty, Most High, says that, say the angel of the death, put in share of you will duly take your souls. So the name which is mentioned in the Holy Quran and in the authentic Sunnah is Malakul Maut. This is the name of this angel, is the angel of the death. But what is mentioned as Israel, the name Israel, who is the angel of the death, this is not, it's incorrect. It's incorrect and it's not found in the authentic sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad peace and prayers be upon him. Thank you. So the author mentioned that it is authentically reported in the Sahih that Aisha, who is Umm al muminin like you have mentioned earlier, the mother of the believers, Radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, narrated that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, said the angels were created from light and the jinn were created from a smokeless flame of fire and Adam was created from what has already been described to you and this was reported by Imam Muslim in his book, in his Sahih, Sahih Muslim I remember a story which is narrated in one of the books of uh, history that uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah shower his mercy on him, uh, one of those who, who opposes the Sunnah and opposes the Holy Quran, um, one day asked uh, Imam Abu Hanifa a question saying that um, it is mentioned in the Holy Quran and the authentic Sunnah that jinn were created from a smokeless flame of fire. So how come 
this jinn will be punished with fire. In spite of the fact that they were created from fire. How can this jinn be um, punished with fire? So one of the students of Abu Hanifa uh, asked or required from Imam Abu Hanifa to uh, answer for this question, to give an answer. Uh, so Imam Abu Hanifa allowed him to, to answer that question. Uh, that guy took a stone from the earth, a piece of a stone, and then he threw the stone on that man. Then the man was too angry. He said, why are you punishing me? He said that you were created from clay, and now I punish you with a clay, so that the jinn were created from fire, and then they will be punished with fire. So it was an excellent answer to the question of that guy who tries to oppose the Sunnah and the Holy Quran.